All right, so till now we finished everything related to the authentication. Now the user can log in, create an account using an email and password, and he can sign in anonymously or using Google sign in. And now you are familiar using the file store. So for that, let's start uploading products to the Firebase. So I will sign in now as a guest. And in here, as you saw before, we have only one collection, which is called users. And now we will add a new collection called the products to upload our products to it. So let's get started. So in this page, or this screen actually, we need to implement a method to allow the user to upload a product to the Firestore. And later on, we will fetch it and display it from the Firestore. So first thing that I want to do is to move this upload the product file into the screens because it's actually because it's actually a main screen. Press OK. And I've already initialized the try submit method to it. So once the user press on the upload in here, this method is being called. So for that, we need to use those items or those fields to upload them to the Firestore. So actually it will be the same as the sign up. So I really suggest you to stop the video right now and try to do it by your own. So now I will start implementing the code. For that, I will copy the function in here, the submit form, or I can just copy the F, the code from the F statement in here. So only this code. So I will copy it now. And I will paste it and the upload form in here. Instead of this, or I will just paste it below it. Now for sure I will get some errors. I will copy the or initialize the global methods. So I will directly just copy it from here um, like this and go back and paste it in here. We need to import it as usual and we need to initialize the loading boolean. So let's say in here bool equal to false like this and we will actually use the firebase storage to allow the user to upload images so import this package uh, we can name this product by its name for example for example we can call the product title to it and uh, this function actually will be a future so the await error is disappeared and we need to initialize this URL. I will just copy it from here and initialize it in here like this. Now we don't actually need this. So I will just delete it. We don't actually need the user, but we can store the user ID with this product so we can manage later which user has been uploaded this product to the Firestore. So in here, I will import this and we need to initialize this auth, but I also, I will copy it from here. So here it is and paste it up there in here, for example, and we need to import for sure the Firestore now and we don't need this line neither is this line so I will just delete them and now we need to change this I will keep the creating art and delete all other attributes so the ID for sure we will need to change it later I will name this field to user ID like this and Let's initialize now the other attributes. So the first one would be the title. Or we can name it as product title, for example. And now we can access those to upload them to the Firestore, just like we did for the email and the 
sign up screen. So let's paste that in here like this. The second argument that we want is the price. So in here, let's say price and copy this. The price is actually a string. So later on, once we we need to fetch it, we need to convert it to a uh, to an integer actually, and we will need to upload the image. But I already I have already managed it, and here is the code for it, just like we did in the sign up screen. So if the picked image is null, this dialog will appear. If it is not null, we will get the URL, and later on we can add it to the Firestore. So in here, let's say product image, for example, and upload the URL to it. And now we need the product category. So in here, let's say product category like this. And we need to access the product category. Below it, we need to access the product brand like this and now we need to add the description then the quantity so in here the description and then the quantity like this So those names actually will represent our data and the Firestore. Just like we initialize the email, for example, email field in here, and the ID, image URL, etc. So now our method should work, but we still need to do something important, which is the ID that we manage everything depending on it. Now we could generate an index for our ID, but for sure I will not do that. For sure of our application gets to the store, it will make a lot of problem. So for that, we need to create or make a method to get a great UID, for example, or to create a method to get an ID or complicated ID to represent our product. So for that, let's go to pub.dev and there's a great package for it, which is called UUID. So this package over here. It's better if you read the documentation. Here it is. And we need to install it. So as usual, go to the installing. And now I will copy this, open the terminal and paste it in here. And it will be automatically added to the pubspec to TML file. So here it is, it's being added. All right, so let's go back to the upload product and use it. So in here, let's initialize a field. Let's name it, for example, final product ID. It will be equal to this actually in here and this actually will generate for us a random id as i said in here so let's do it and we need to initialize it for sure so to initialize it we need to initialize it like this so i will copy this and we can initialize it in here like this for sure we need to import the package it's not being recognized yet so i will copy this and paste it in here just like this and now the error is gone now we need to use this product id and in here let's add a field called product id and add it in here just like this now we can give it a try so i will start the app 
actually I forget to change something which is the user collection now if I do this it will be added to the users collection and it will be added under the UID of the user so in here let's use the product ID and in here let's change it to products now I will start it again and we can give it a try let's go to the upload page and fill up this form for example let's say in here watch and in here 59 and let's add an image I will add this watch we can select a category so in here I will choose watches we can select a brand I will use the Samsung and we can add a description so in here let's say a watch for example and let's add a quantity any quantity that we want so in here let's upload it and wait let's check if anything gets added to the fire store since we don't have any error in here so in here let's reload this page in here and make sure so it looks that it worked in here a new collection has been added which is called products a dynamic ID in here and here it is everything is working fine let's make sure of the product image by copying this URL and paste it in here so here uh, so here is our image is being added to the Firebase and actually it's being added for sure to the Firebase storage so let's make sure of it and here it is but I forget to change actually the user images name let's say in here product images like this now we can try it again so here is, here is the price and here is the quantity product title and everything is working fine and here is the user ID uh, I sign in anonymously so let's check which user is this so in the Firebase authentication in here so this user has added this product so let's give it a try again and see what will happen so let's say in here gallery and choose this iPhone now and say for example iPhone oops iPhone 11 and give it a price for example 1200 boxes and let's choose a category which is fonts and brand which is Apple or you can type in Apple in here directly a description for example a great iPhone and in here let's add a quantity now I prefer to do something before that we upload it since we are in this page so we need to use this is loading so let's search for upload and actually instead of this text we can initialize a spinner to show the users that it's being added so in here let's say circular progress indicator and drop by center and save it now we need to apply it again I will directly drop it by a container and give it a height of 40 and width of 40 let's give it a try again let's add the image add the title which is iPhone and add the price and uh, in here fonts and in here Apple and a description for it iPhone description and the quantity here upload so here it is we can also remove this uh, button in here or uh, icon in here which is the upload icon and now the 
upload is done since the progress indicator is disappeared now so let's make sure that it's being added and here it is with a different id so here is the fonts uh, category and here is the iphone that as a description i added for it let's make sure of the image so i will paste it in here here is the iphone and let's go back to the storage and reload again and here's a new folder has been created which is must have or here it is here's here the iphone so everything is working fine now the next step for sure will be to display it in all places so stay tuned